Hello Jiwaku, today we are going to talk about the geothermal type of reservoir in exploration drilling, particularly about risk and uncertainties. Stay tuned! Talking about determining the top of a geothermal reservoir as close as possible might seem like witchcraft. You foretell on something you do not know for sure, but without being a wizard, Subsurface scientists and engineers still can tackle subsurface challenges, especially first drilling activity obstacles by reducing existing data uncertainties as much as possible. All geological, geophysical, and geochemical surface or 3G surface for geothermal exploration pose an appreciable amount of risk and uncertainty. Quantifying exploration uncertainties and anticipating potential drilling risk are paramount to ensure successful first drilling activity. During the exploration phase, multi-dimensional data acquisitions are collected by different people at a different time utilizing different scales before finally merged into a singular final interpretation that includes lots of assumptions. There are two primary parameters for estimating the top of reservoir, which is the base of conductive and reservoir temperature. The base of conductive is the base of low permeability zone located over and adjacent to the geothermal reservoir. The reservoir temperature, derived from geothermometer information, is used to calculate the boiling point to depth curve based on the steam table to extrapolate the top of reservoir elevation to the temperature. Thus, incorrectly derived assumptions primarily related to the depth of base conductive and the reservoir temperature estimation definitely increase uncertainties in determining the top of reservoir. You can see this more on the previous video regarding the boiling point to depth. Uncertainties inference the base of conductive from a magnetotelluric inversion result and result for temperature from geothermal manifestations highly depend on acquisition procedure, meaning whether the equipment covers the targeted depth, and anomaly presence, meaning whether the subsurface anomaly is predicted or estimated correctly from existing data or case. There are two primary parameters for estimating the top of reservoir, which is the base of conductive and reservoir temperature. The base of conductive is the base of low permeability zone located over and adjacent to the geothermal reservoir. The reservoir temperature, derived from geothermometer information, is used to calculate the boiling point to depth curve based on the steam table to extrapolate the top of reservoir elevation to the temperature. Thus, incorrectly derived assumptions primarily related to the depth of base conductive and the reservoir temperature estimation definitely increase uncertainties in determining the top of reservoir. You can see this more on the previous video regarding the boiling point to depth. Uncertainties inference the base of conductive from a magnetotelluric inversion result and result for temperature from geothermal manifestations highly depend on acquisition procedure, meaning whether the equipment covers the targeted depth, and anomaly presence, meaning whether the subsurface anomaly is predicted or estimated correctly from existing data or case. Volatile variability is a lot more challenging but imperative in reducing drilling risk. One of the approaches is to use training written and all methodology with the monocolor simulation to generate an estimate of overall uncertainty prediction from all uncertainties and variables. It characterizes the uncertainty for any nonlinear random function f from several top of reservoirs interpretations derived from the magnetotelluric or electromagnetic base surface. Monte Carlo simulation's principle is used since it is beneficial to the experiment for which the specific uh, results are not known approach to quantify uncertainties, a deterministic approach is not utilized despite its ability to pinpoint a singular value, due to its inability to deliver the uncertainty required in gut plans. Conversely, according to Adams et al. 2009, a probabilistic approach, i.e. Monte Carlo simulation, capable of quantifying uncertainty to a specific type of reservoir that range for while planning and mapping its strength, weaknesses, and pitfalls. These approach allows people to understand risk and opportunity in improving the decision-making consideration. Monte Carlo simulation is a simulation that relies on repeated random sampling on probability distributions and statistical analysis. To quantify the top of reservoir uncertainties using Monte Carlo simulation, iteration is necessary to obtain successively closer and more accurate approximation. Furthermore, iteration ensures that the yielded estimates fulfill a specific confidence interval. We agree subsurface so scientists and engineers are as cool as a wizard. This is Jua. See you in the next video.